So before I get into this amazing organization, I have to ask the trailer for High School Musical oh 4 because I have to, and it gave us all the feels. Oh my god, it gave us all all the feels. Like we were like, who did this, and where did they get all these feels from, and how did they put them together? I'm gonna say though that I think that Lucas and Ashley's remake of that song is a big part of the feels. So shout out to Lucas and Ashley. And I mean, honestly, I would I would do that movie. Like I liked, I was like, this is like I would do that. You know, it looked amazing. So it really, oh, it's it Taylor B in two years now. I know, like it looks so real. I, you know, running something, probably running a nonprofit. Yeah. That. Yeah, I think so. So, how did you hear about Kids on the Spotlight? I actually heard about it from um, this wonderful woman, Tamisha Scott, who invited me to participate on several occasions, and I haven't had the opportunity. My schedule hasn't worked out, um, but I've just been looking for ways to support because I think it's an incredible organization. Well, you just did a photo shoot with Baby Kaylee, an I upcoming did. rapper, and I have to ask because it gave me the feels watching that. Oh my God, I love um, it. So can you give a tease about the photo shoot? Yeah, you know, um, I'm actually, I've got some really exciting things coming out with a foundation soon um, where I'm going to be an ambassador that is really helping to shine a light on the amazing things that young people are doing. And so Baby Kaylee is just one of the young people that will be profiling and really just, really trying to change the narrative of how we see young people. I think a lot of times we say that they're apathetic or that they're not interested or um, that we just focus on the negative things and they're there's so much positivity that these young people are putting out into the world, but we have to support them and we have to invest in them. And so that's what I try to do with my platform is really um, just let them know that, that they matter, their voices matter, that their choices matter. And I think the sooner you can validate the positive choices that they're making, the more likely they are to continue on that path. Yeah. So the guidance shows in season yeah, three, yes. you're Katina Howard. I am Katina Howard. Katina was what I would lovingly call myself on set. <laughs> what I love, it's something you said, and it hit me really hard. It was like you said, suicide is contagious. Yeah. And like, like hearing that and saying that, how did that make you feel? Oh, heavy. You know, um, this role and this show is so meaningful and important to me because it literally is the intersection of everything that I love. It's my passion for acting with my purpose which is advocacy advocating for young people using my platform to really give voice to these issues and it's a, it really was a dream come true like to, to be able to portray this role and to shine a light on these like really kind of heavy issues you know if you're watching please watch it watch guidance on go 90 but it's gonna unfold and stuff's gonna hit the fan girl like it's gonna hit the fan you're gonna be like oh my god no. Because, like, no, because yes, Katina but, is, like, she's, like, I'm not giving yes. up. And I love about your character. You're, like, you really care. Like, you're actually really? involved. Yes. Oh, my God. Sounds like sounds like someone else I know. <laughs> <laughs> if I could just play myself, I mean, this is how know, I would play it. No, but really, though, like, actually, it, it's rare, too, as an actress to get roles and opportunities that you're, like, oh, my God. Did you go, did you, like, like hijack my dreams like did they inception me I think they inceptioned me <laughs> just a little bit you know um, but but I do I you know I don't not to be too spiritual but I do believe that the roles and opportunities that come to us are for a divine reason and purpose and that they give us the opportunity to elevate and to to be more fully who we're supposed to be and so I think that it's no accident that I was cast as this guidance counselor to be able to give voice to these issues because I'm so passionate about them well, I appreciate that passion thank you so much for joining us today thank you it's so great meeting you you too.